Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve this nice functional equations? We are given this function with p of root t plus 4 equals t plus 8. And the equation says find p of t plus 1. So what to understand here is we have x, we have t here and here is root t. A radical plus a linear so the domain of this one is in form of radical and why the domain of this one is in form of a linear form now let's see how we can obtain p of t plus 1 given this function so first thing we do is we write the solution and we apply the substitution method here. We are going to let, if we let the square root of t plus 4, we let it to another variable. But the variable will be in form of what we need here, this expression. Then let's use x plus 1. So we are going to make t the subject of the formula here. Here we have 4. We cancel this 4 by subtracting 4 from both sides. When we subtract 4 from both sides, 4 cancelled 4. And uh, square root t equals x plus 1 minus 4. That gives us minus 3. Here we have root t. And here is x minus 3. To get only t, we are going to take the square of both sides. By squaring both sides, we have root t squared equals x minus 3 squared. Square and square root cancelled as we have t equals x minus 3 squared. We have established t. We make t the subject of these relations as it's given as x minus 3 raised to the power of 2. Let's come back to the given function. We have p of t plus 4 and uh, we let the root t plus 4 to be x plus 1. Let's change it. By changing it, we have p of x plus 1 equals then our t plus 8 and that t is given as x minus 3 raised to the power of 2 then plus 8 this is what we have for p of x and by expanding the right hand side further x minus 3 squared is a more of when we write x minus 3 multiply by x minus 3 because of the power of 2 then plus 8 here we have to multiply this out x times x that gives us x squared minus here we have x times minus 3 that is minus 3x minus 3 times x we have it as minus 3x minus 3 times minus 3 that is plus 9 then the last one which is plus 8 which is not part of the bracket this equals x squared minus 3x minus 3x that is minus 6x then plus 9 plus 8 that gives us 17 and this is the result of p of x plus 1 now we change x to t because we have to find p of t therefore p of t plus 1 is given as t squared minus 60 plus 17. This is the result we established for we got for p of t plus 1. This I will solve this. If you have another method of solving this, please you can drop it in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell for more videos. See you in the next class. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.